Hi, this is Gabriel with Duplicating Systems, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up more complex settings on your macOS device for your Canon printer. Part 1 of this video will cover how to tell your computer what features your printer has, features such as finishers or paper cassettes. Part 2 of this video will cover creating Canon printer presets with department IDs or user authentication. So let me begin with part one of this video, which is telling your computer what features your printer has. So first go into System Preferences, Printers and Scanners, and now click on the printer you want to adjust. In my case, I'm adjusting this demo Canon. From here, click on Settings, and now Options. And now from this menu, you can configure the features for your printer. If you don't know what features your printer has, I have a video going over how to find that features list directly on your Canon. But once you find out what your features are, go ahead and configure them here. Configure features such as high capacity cassette feeding units, or if it has a paper deck, or if it has an inner staple or booklet finisher, if it has a hole puncher as well. And then finally, configure if it has department ID, if you're using department ID or user authentication. At first, I'll be showing you how to configure department ID, but later on in this video, I'll also show you user authentication. So let me click on department ID management, and then press OK, and then exit out. And now all the features on this printer has been configured. So now we're into part two of this video, which is creating Canon presets. For the second part, I'll be using a different printer, a Canon C350. So there are many ways to get to the menu I'm about to show you, but I'll be showing you my favorite way, which is to go through Google Chrome. So let me open up Chrome. Let me go to File, Print, and Print Using System Dialog. And then from here, click on the printer I want to adjust, which is the C350. Now I'm going to create for you two presets. These are two presets we typically make for our customers at Duplicating Systems. Uh, the first preset is going to be a black and white. So I'm first going to go to quality and then select black and white. From here, the only other option I want to configure is under special features. And I'm going to use a department ID. So after I click on department ID, I'm going to click on settings. And now I'm going to type in a department ID and pin. In this case, it's going to be 1234, and the pin is going to be 1234 as well. Remember that this has to be configured on your printer at first, but once it's been configured on your printer, your printer will always want this information. So when you're creating a preset, especially with department ID, you have to type in this information or else you won't be able to print. So now that your department ID is configured, press OK. Uh, this is a pretty simple preset, as you can see. Uh, you can make it as complex as you want, but I'm going to save this one as is. So I'm going to go to Save Current Settings as a Preset, and I'm going to call this one Black and White Department ID. Now I'm going to make for you another preset. This one's simply going to change the color mode to Color. And again, I'm going to go here to save current settings as a preset. And I'm going to call this color department ID. These are two presets we like to create for customers when they first get their new copier. These presets serve as a good starting point because typically when people print, the first settings they want to configure is black and white or color. And then from here, they can make, make these presets more complex and, of course, make new presets based off black and white or color. So now I'm going to quickly show you about user authentication, configuring it, and setting up a preset with it. You're going to see that it's just like department ID. It just requires slightly different information. So first, let me go into system preferences, printers and scanners. Uh, the printer I want to adjust in this case is this demo Canon. I'm going to click Settings, Options. I'm going to deselect Department ID if I have it on. And I'm going to click on Prioritize User Authentication. Now I'm going to press OK. I'm going to exit out. 
I'm gonna go to Google Chrome, File, Print, Print Using System Dialog. In this case, I'm adjusting the demo canon. I'm gonna go to Layout, Special Features, User Management, User Authentication, Settings, and now I'm gonna create my username. It's gonna be Gabriel in this case. My password's going to be one, two, three, four. Press OK. And if user management is set up on my printer, it's going to be looking for this user authentication, more specifically, my username and password. One last thing I want to show you is turning off a button called Reset Presets. If this button is switched on, then it will always reset your presets whenever you get completed with a printing job. So first go into Google Chrome, File, Print, Print using system dialog. Click on the printer you're adjusting. In my case, the demo Canon. And now click under presets. Click show presets. In my case, my button's already switched off, which is good. But your button could be switched on. Go ahead and deselect it and press OK. And now resets presets is off. And you can save your presets on your Mac OS device. If you have any questions or we didn't cover the information you were looking for, feel free to ask us in the comments down below or contact us directly at Duplicating Systems. Our contact information is in this video's description. Anyways, I hope I helped you and thank you for watching.